welcome to Friday's, well, bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, although Mark and I have been doing uh, the Times crossword on Friday for the last few months now, and very, we've, we've enjoyed it a lot, um, and we're going to continue that today. Now, today's Friday crossword is actually easier than an average Times crossword, according to the snitch rating, so hopefully we'll be able to get it done, and if you are new to cryptic crosswords, it might be a really good one. Uh, to cut your teeth on. Um, but before we get going with this, I wanted to share with you something uh, I only found out about this morning. Uh, it's not really related to cryptic crosswords, but it's certainly related to words. This was a puzzle that appeared in the New York Times, uh, which is not a, it's not a, um, a cryptic, it's a quick crossword, I think. That's the, probably the most accurate way of describing it for those people in the UK used to used to crosswords. Anyway, this, this puzzle appeared uh, last Tuesday, and I'm going to show the finished grid now. So if you, if you haven't solved that puzzle and you want to, look away now. Uh, but this was the finished grid. And you might say, well, what's unusual about that? But if you stare at this grid for a few, few seconds, you'll see something quite remarkable about it. I mean, really astonishing, to be honest. Um, and the key to what's going on is to look at the middle row or the middle column. So you could see, I think, I can't remember how 37 across was clued, but obviously it's some sort of avenue, race car, EVA. But it, it's, it's a palindrome, it's reversible, um, as is the central column. And then if you start looking, you'll find that every single entry, if you take its symmetrical counterpart, by which, by which I mean rotate the grid around uh, 180 degrees, uh, dap becomes pad, ogre becomes ergo, reed becomes deer, spoons becomes snoops, I mean lawn becomes enroll, the whole thing reverses, it's absolutely extraordinary, I mean really extraordinary, um, anyway so I thought you might like to see that, I, I'm, I'm intrigued that um, this hasn't had more attention drawn to it because I mean, whether it was put together with computer assistance or not, it probably was. It's still absolutely remarkable. Um, anyway, nothing to do with cryptic crosswords, just a remarkable thing. Now, let's have a look at today's Times crossword. I think this is it. Let's click to go. And is everything in the right place? Looks about right. OK, so trashy American town regularly passing notice trashy American town. A passing notice makes me think of an obituary because it's a notice of somebody's passing, their death. So I'm thinking OB. American town regularly. American could be AM or US. Town regularly suggests taking the regular letters out of the word. Trashy. I'm not it's too Bob. Why is it too? I'm sure it's too Bob now. Now I've thought of that. That means that means trashy. Um, that's got O B at the end of it. Trashy. Okay, town. Town regularly is T W, which are the odd numbered letters of the word town. A passing notice is an obituary. Why is OB repeated? Why is it twice? Or Bob? <laughs> um, town regularly passing notice. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm almost certain that this is the right answer. It means trashy. It must be an American phrase. Uh, no, actually, no. Two Bob would be a British phrase. Two Bob. American. Something's two Bob. That means trashy. I don't understand either the second OB here. I'm uh, passing notice. But uh, let's see, let's go with two, Bob. Two down. Dispute war arising 
about trees being moved. Okay, so it's around cathedral site. Winch no, I was going to say Winchester. I was trying to think of places where there was a cathedral. Um, Worcester, maybe. A dispute is a row. Okay, yeah. So, how does this work? We've got a dispute, a row, arising. It's a down clue, so if we, if we make the, the word arise, we make it effectively reverse. And then, and then about is circa, or are abbreviated to C, which is this C in the clue. And trees are being moved, trees are being anagrammed around the abbreviation for about. Um, and that gives us altogether Worcester, which is a cathedral site. Not easy at all, but, but seems to confirm two, doesn't it? Three down. Toilet with blue stall. I'm now wondering whether two pop is right. <laughs> Toilet. I mean, bl Bog? I don't think it's going to be bog. I think the only thing that, I think bog would be vulgar if clued as toilet in the times. Um, blue, I was thinking down. So I was thinking this might be a word for a stall, like at a, a, a fairground. Something down. I don't know. Oh no, it's bog down. It is bog down. Oh, I'm very surprised. Okay. All right. I didn't, I didn't, um, well, I sort of, I spotted the possibility of toilet and bog being synonymous, but, you know, the, <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh, it just is. Okay, if you're, if you're blue, if your mood is blue, you feel down, so that, that's syn the synonym there, toilet, bog, bog down, if something gets bogged down, it stalls. So, empty text filled with a bit of ink. No, this is tapped. Two bit. Ah, okay. All right. Oh, well, that makes more sense. I'm actually quite relieved about that because I couldn't understand that at all. Two bit is our American version of two bob, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, and then we've got TW, the irregular letters of town, and then O bit rather than OB. So we've got a longer abbreviation for obituary and two bit will be the answer. And that allows this one to be tat, which is empty text, empty out the word text. That just gives us, gives us TT, fill it with an A and a bit of ink is a tattoo uh, shortened to a tat. And we might be able to get nine across now. Billions, that's probably B, blown in the end, protecting fine seaside resort must be Brighton. So it's, I think it's got righto in the middle of it. So we've had we've had well we've had two bob which was wrong. We've had bog and now we've got Brighton if I could spell it uh, with righto in the middle. So billions b blown in the end is the end letter of the word blown. That's this n here, and that protects. So b and n protect. They surround. They encircle a word which means fine. And if you say righto, you're saying fine. And a seaside resort, Brighton. Um, Let's try. Is that going to be eaten or stun? Let's have a look. Wow, stun. Yes, it's stun. Because uh, if you wow someone, you stun them. And if you're crazy, you're nuts. And if nuts somersaults, it turns around and that gives us stun. Um, I had stun my... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It strikes, strikes me as a, that would be a very good reversible word with nuts and star. I don't think it's there. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just, just occurred to me it might be. Have second thoughts. Reconsider. About, re, prisoners, uh, cons, as in con convicts, getting free ride, getting an anagram of the word ride. So reconsider is going to be correct there. Let's try five down. Judge to be reportedly punished in a way. Find, judge, to be reportedly punished in a way. Judge. Uh, I haven't got that. I, I, I'm torn a bit because I'm seeing in a way there. And there are various abbreviations for, for streets. Encrypted crosswords, ST, 
AVE we actually saw in, 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 in the time in the New York Times but also RD for road so I'm sort of wondering whether this begins with R and ends in D and we have a homophone for punished in the middle but when I first read the clue I thought it was going to be a, a homophone for the word punished and it mean it meant judge and the, in, in a way was just saying well it's if it's a way of punishing caned Judge to be reportedly punished, caned, fined. Oh, no, it is, isn't it? it is, it's actually fined. Because um, if you judge someone, you, find, you might judge them guilty. You'd find them guilty. So judge to be is fined and reportedly punished. Well, that's fined, F-I-N-E-D. Um... Sorry, I'm, I'm saying that wrong. Find, F-I-N-D. If you say that, it sounds exactly the same as F-I-N-E-D. Um, so find, F-I-N-D, we have to find a different way of spelling that to give us a word which means punished in a way. And if you're fined, you are punished. So that's useful and annoying that we didn't immediately or I didn't immediately twig that my first thought was correct. Nervous say in the middle of journey on plane, fretful. No, I was going to say fretful. Nervous say in the middle of journey on plane. A journey on a plane is a flight. So, I'm, what I'm what in my mind, what I'm trying to do is to put eg for say in the middle of a flight. To make a word that means nervous. Um, nah, no, okay. Haven't got that. I think it's something to do with flight. Let's try 12 down. Spy, secret agent. <laughs> I bet it is. Teenagers, staggering. Yes, okay, That's that's got all the uh, constituents. Outside clubs close to midnight. Yeah, okay. So what we've got here is the teenagers are staggering. It's nothing to do with teenagers staggering outside a nightclub. Teenagers are being anagrammed outside C, which is a valid abbreviation for clubs, as in you might have seen that on bridge scoring. Um, and the close to the word midnight is not saying close to midnight. It's the close to the word midnight is the, is the T. And if we if we put all that together, we get secret agent, which is certainly a spy. And you can see, I mean, that's not a very difficult clue. If if you if you read it the way I did, which was to read the word spy and see six five, you know, and then it after that it's just justification, which isn't easy, but it's doable. So fifteen across, comprehend, comprehend by embracing love and kindness comprehend by by can sometimes be x as in times three by four you'd be saying three times four uh, i don't know what that is though 23 a group i'm thinking a band leaving abandoning it must be a band performing your on in and then the front of gig goers is the front of the word gig goers which is a g and if we put all that together a band on in g we get leaving abandoning uh 24 down die anil i know is a die used to outline very small bone is the anvil which is a bone in the ear i think um v for very and anil for the die uh 26 um limit restricting endless tendency for waffly lang ver verbiage yes okay so the limit here is a verge and that's restricting an endless word for a tendency well tendency is a bias so we cut off the end of that, we get B-I-A, we put it in verge, we get verbiage, which means waffle. Uh, and we get an R in 27, fabulous creature, I'm thinking rock, R-O-C, 
and it is found in deeper oceans. So when you start doing cryptic crosswords, especially the times, these are the clue. I remember when I first started doing them. I don't know how old I was, 11 or 12. Um, and these were always the ones I would try and find, i.e. the ones that said in something. And then you could find the answer spelt out. So if you look in deeper oceans there, you can see ROC spelt out. So I always felt there was a chance of doing those. Um, right, 29. Call placed primarily for digital currency. Call placed primarily makes me think of P, the primary letter of the word placed. For digital currency. Crypto. Why is it call this cry? I think that is, I think, I think it is crypto then, is it? Cry for call, P, first letter of the word placed, four and two, are they synonymous? I, th I think it's trying to say that rather than the toe being a digit, T-O-E. That's because there's nothing to indicate we take a short form of that. So I think four and two are being used as synonyms there to give us crypto, a digital currency. Um, I think that's how that must break down. 20 down. Night in Paris. Well, in French, the word night is nuit, N-U-I-T. So I'm going, to, I'm going to put that in and think, I'm already thinking it's annuity then, is it? Covered by some, some is synonymous with any, and a payment is an annuity. So that, I mean, again, if you know how to read that, it's incredibly straightforward. 20 across, old French artist heading west, not south. Old, I wonder if this is a word like A-U-L-D, like a word that means old. French artist heading west, Degas, aged. Oh, silly me. Yeah, so I was, I was sort of right, but I was thinking of the wrong word. So a French artist, Degas. Uh, heads west, i.e. reverses, but without the s, without this s for south, and we get aged, which means old, or aged, which means old. So what's this weak night? It must be for seventeen down. No, her voting changed incredibly quickly. That, I'm thinking that's an anagram of her voting. That's amazing. That that's. Uh, Overnight. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I was going to be weak night, and then, then my brain just wouldn't work after that. Her voting anagram, so changed incredibly quickly. If something happens overnight, it happens incredibly quickly. Um, where should we look now? Oh, I've looked at that one. I might try and get six down. Maybe it begins with under. Underground, I'm thinking. With no defeats, un two points sit between United and Spurs remarkably. Uh, United and Spurs do have 11 letters but two points sit between two points on oh that's really annoying I should be able to get that I'm being I'm being dense there. I know I am. Um, let's try 18 across. Technical detail. Mm, don't know. Briefly, that's like a spec, is it? Included in specialist trade unions brochure. Technical detail briefly. Inc oh, maybe it is spec, you know, because that could go there. Prospectus. <laughs> Okay, that's just total luck. Um, okay, so I, ha I had the right thought about technical detail. Uh, once we, th once I thought to put it in the middle of something and worked out the rest of it, I can see it's got TU apostrophe S for trade unions. Uh, in specialist, is that uh, pro, presumably, is it? A specialist is a pro professional, a pro. So it's, it's spec in the middle of pro, TU apostrophe S, a trade union apostrophe S, and a brochure is a prospector. So 16 down. I felt ultimately 
satisfied. Well, I and me are being used as synonymous there. Um, and felt ultimately is the ultimate or last letter of the word uh, felt. And that gives us satisfied, which is met. Comprehend. Com by embracing love. It's probably O. Is in a tennis score of love um, and kindness, compassion. It must be compassion. Let's uh, again, I, and you can see sort of the way I do these. I, you know, if I can think of the synonym and I'm confident, I'll put it in. And now I'm going to try and work out why. Comprehend by by embracing love. That must be that. Comprehend by. Love and kindness. I'm not sure, actually. I don't think comp is an abbreviation of comprehend. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm actually, I'm actually so unsure. I'm taking that out. I don't. I. I mean, it feels likely it's right. I just don't understand it. And therefore, it doesn't deserve its place in the grid. Let's try 19 down. Suspect mail is breaking into safe. Suspect mail is breaking into safe. I'm thinking of... I mean, there are words that mean safe that come up in cryptic crosswords like Peter, believe it or not. I don't think it is that here. It feels more like an anagram of mail or mail is. Um, or even a word like secure for safe with M inside it. But I, I haven't had the right thought here yet. Suspect. Sus. Into safe. I haven't got that. I don't. I don't quite. That's one which is clever in the sense that I can't. I can't pass it correctly. Um, box mostly surplus to reply. Box mostly surplus to requirements. Um, spare. Okay. If you spar, you box, and if you're surplus to requirements, you're spare. Um, those of you who've read Prince Harry's uh, autobiography. Will will be familiar with uh, that feeling, I'm sure. So um, so spare. Most of the word spare gives spar, and that means box. Twenty two down. Animal identified from front pair of paws. Okay, well the front pair of the word paws are p and a. So if I write down p and a, I get panda, which is an animal. That's rather nice, isn't it? Uh, Twenty five. One inventor. Whenever you see inventor, always think Edison. Um, in fact, it's something to do with that, isn't it? Because now I'm seeing I could reverse most of Edison here. So inside or something? Giving away organisations first. I think it is inside. I'm just going to write that down. Yes. OK, so one is I, which is the Roman numeral for the number one. An inventor is Edison. Recalled, reversed, giving away Edison's O, which is organization's first letter, to be secret. If something's on the secret, it's, it's on the inside. Um, let's try this. Father, parental, almost completely broken apart by split from mother. Maternal, oh no, parental father, almost completely broken apart. That must be rent, isn't it? By split from mother. What's this? Service? Servile? Suspect. Something is suspect. It's male is. Surmise? Sus yes. Okay. So, if you suspect something, you surmise it. Male, M, is, is breaking in so in the middle of a word that means safe which is sure 
that gives us this. Now I want this to be parental. Father, par, almost completely broken apart. Maybe that's Ren by split. Oh, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm going to put it in just to have a look at it. Um, father almost completely broken apart by split rent. Yeah. Almost completely. I haven't quite understood this. Father, I think, is par here. And then I think it might be AL for almost. Yes, it is. Okay, I've now understood it. Okay, so the way this works is par for father. Uh, if something, a word that means completely is all, A double L, and almost all of the word all is just A L. So we've got par and A L being broken apart by a word that means split, which is rent. And from mother question mark, if something is from your mother, it's from one of your parents. And the question mark is is sometimes used in cryptic crosswords to indicate an example. So, I mean, this could have read from father, because obviously something if something is parental, it's from one of the parents. Um, but in order to sort of make the surface seem more reasonable, the constructors used from mother with a question mark. So, that, I mean, that's very hard to understand. Um, but uh, but I but I'm certain it's right. Now we've got a choice. Let's try ten across. Weight in opening shot towards net causes deflection. Uh, in opening shot, serve, swerve. Yeah. Okay. So a deflection is a swerve. Weight is W. Um, and W is appearing in the opening shot towards the net, which is a serve in tennis. Uh, so, unfortunately, oh, we get a V, actually. Let's try eight down. Party goer, raver. Yes, write R. And if you aver something, you state it. So raver is the right answer. Seven down. Mythical hero, Theseus, I'm thinking. Seen from time to time inside America. That must be Theseus. That seems like it's got all of the all of the constituent parts. I can see US for America. Let's see if we can time to time. Oh, maybe it's not now. Oh no, inside America is the US, the United States. So, wow, that's very cleverly worded again. So, seen from time to time is saying take regularly occurring letters from the word seen. So, either take the odd letters or the even letters. Now, if we take the uh, odd numbered letters, we take S and E. We put that inside the US for America and we get Theseus, which is our, what was it, mythical hero, classical hero or something. Right, what's this going to be? Bring in, earn, each EA is an valid abbreviation for each one of the armed forces, the Royal Navy. So that's fairly understandable. Compassion still looks right at 15 across. Uh, and now what? Oh no, my flight idea is wrong about this. So uh, nervous, say. Fluttery. In the middle of journey on plane. I suppose if you fly somewhere... Yes, it is fluttery, actually. I've just understood why. Uh, oh, whoopsie. Um, okay, so it's a journey on a plane is not a flight, which is what I thought it was. It, if you journey on a plane, you fly. So F-L-Y goes around a word which means say. And if you utter something, you say it. And fluttery is nervous. So this, what's this one then? Un 
unsurprised, maybe? With no... No. Mm. Okay, with no defeats. Two points. Sit between United, that could be you. And Spurs. Oh, and Spurs, remarkably, might be an anagram of and Spurs. And then two points are going to be S and E at the end, because we need an E in order to create an ending. Um, so, with no defeats, un unsurpassed. Wow. Okay, well that's, that's so it, it is exactly as I said, two points are two points of the compass, south and east. They go in the middle of, a, they go in the middle of an anagram of you for United and Spurs, A-N-D-S-P-U-R-S -S being anagrammed. Now this must be compassion then, I think, comprehend by embracing love and kindness comprehend by let's put compassion in again and see if we can understand why comprehend by embracing love okay well what how something is by ah, why can't i see what this is this is appalling <laughs> kindness compassion comprehend Maybe comprehend is con here, which I think is a word that can mean read or study. Comprehend. Embracing love. If something goes by, does it pass? Or compass? Is that what it's saying? Compass. Comprehend. A, a, comp a comprehend and compass synonymous. And then by for in, embracing O for love. I think it might be that. I think, I think we're going to have to go with that. I don't think I'm going to come up with anything better than compassion. I'm not surprised it's right. Let's just check compass here as a verb. Um, it's, uh, no, it's not brilliant, is it? What, what did it have to mean? Comprehend. Oh, no, there it is. Sorry, there it is. Comprehend. I just didn't see it. To comprehend is to compass. So it, it, it was as I eventually understood it. It just took me a while to... Um, to appreciate exactly how that works. Now, are there any others that we wanted to check today? Um, I don't think there was anything else that I was totally unsure of at the end. I think we understood to... Let's just check to Bob. To... Is it there? To Bit. There it is, North American Cheap Poultry. Where's two bob? Maybe two bob is actually not hyphenated. I can't believe two bob is not in the dictionary and two bit is. Wow, it does seem to be that case though. Two bob. See, I definitely know the expression two bob. That's weird. That's weird. Have I got T here? Yeah, let's have a look at T and see if T confirms two bob. Or maybe it's just no it's not there what i mean am i please somebody watching this tell me dialectically is, is it i two bob two bob i'm sure i've heard two two bob before being used but okay maybe i haven't okay maybe it is just two bit which which makes <laughs> makes a lot more sense as to why. Well, hopefully hopefully you've understood anyway my my um my concern about why what well hopefully you've understood why I put two bob in. It was because I'm absolutely convinced it's an expression. Um, although I'm struggling now to um 
to justify it. But it's a very nice puzzle. It's not too difficult today, although I will say that actually passing some of the clues isn't that easy, I don't think. Uh, certainly not if you're new to these puzzles. Um, but there were a few gi gi gimmies in there as well. But when I, when I say there are some gimmies, I don't want you to think oh, if you, that if you didn't get them, you should have got them. They're only gimmies when you have a little bit of a clue about how these clues work. So, you know, 20 down, night in Paris covered by some payment. Yes, that is a gimme. If you know that night in Paris, it, or anything in Paris in a cryptic crossword is telling you what's the French for the word. You know, if you're told that, you know, if I was to phrase it in that way, Almost anybody with a, a cursory knowledge of French could get the answer 20 down. But if you don't know that and you're thinking about, you know, night, oh, I'm spending a night in Paris, you know, and um, or you might be thinking of Paris as in the Trojan, Ro Tro the Trojan Wars. And Paris, of course, abducts Helen from Menelaus, doesn't, doesn't he? Um, but, you know, that, these are all sensible thoughts, but it's only experience that allows you to construct the right way of reading these clues. Um, so well done if you got some of these before me. I'm sure some of you did. Let me know in the comments. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.